you know what I realized? Um, obviously, you want to have your advertisements on your vehicle as well. And you can even have it like graphic. Yeah, guys, but like I was saying, um, big big trucking companies do it all the time. If you look at any any 18-wheeler, they got their logo, even their phone number, either on the side of the trailer or maybe the sides and the back and, and the rig. So if you got your own personal, I don't care if it's high shot, pickup truck. If it's high shot, you're supposed to have your DOT numbers and all that stuff on the side of it anyway. But your vehicle, even though it's making you money, this is your advertisement on wheels. So I have I have my my advertisement. I had it on both sides of the doors, but I think most people get vision from my driver's side, and I realize that most people like to tailgate you. So if they want to tailgate you, give them something to look at. Put it right in their face. You want you want to be on my ass? Then goddamn, let me advertise some shit in front of your face since you want to be riding me, man. So yes, advertise, advertise. You have to put yourself out there because how can people know what you're offering if they don't even know you exist? So within reason, find ways to be creative to get people your name out there. So. You gotta do cold calling. You gotta do actual legwork. I dropped my card off to the Dollar General. I dropped my card off to the O'Reilly's. I started talking to people. And you might get more no's than yes, which is okay. But one yes will make up for all them no's. So never get discouraged because you're getting more no's than yes. Somebody gonna see the value in what you're offering and they're gonna give you a chance. And that's your chance to show what you made of so therefore word of mouth gonna be your best advertisement y'all have a great day